Hi there. Now for this question, we're told that with respect to a fixed origin O, the line L has this equation with position vector R equaling 13, 8, 1 plus lambda times the vector 2, 2, minus 1, where lambda is a scalar parameter. And the point A lies on L and has coordinates 3, minus 2, 6. And the point P has position vector minus P I plus 2 P K relative to O, where P is a constant. And given that the vector P to A is perpendicular to L, find the value of P for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, I'm going to take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Now, whenever I'm doing vectors questions, something like this, for instance, I would strongly encourage a sketch. So my sketch would be something like this. I'd have a, the line L, so we'll just mark that in. This is the line L, say. And we'll have an origin. We'll say this is the origin, say, about here. Mark that in with O. And remember that R represents the position vector of any point on this line. So let's just suppose that in general, say, it might be this one here. We'll label that R then, OK? Now we've got this point A that lies on L, and it has these coordinates, 3, minus 2, 6. So I'm just going to put it anywhere on here. It doesn't matter where I put it on. We'll just say it's over here. And then this is the point then A, with coordinates 3, minus 2, 6. Now the line has this direction vector. I'm assuming that you're familiar with the vector equation of a line. This is a point on the line, and this is a vector that is parallel to the line. So we've got a vector which I'll illustrate here in green as the vector that's parallel to it. And we'll just write that as a column vector, 2, 2, minus 1. I won't bother putting this point on the line. I don't know where it is. Not that it really matters anyway. But uh, there's no need to put this point on the line for this question. We've got the point P, though, which has this position vector, minus PI plus 2PK, relative to O. It's not on the line, but we know that P to A is perpendicular to the line L. So I'm going to put P, say, at a point over here. Let's just do it in blue, say. There we go. We'll put that as P. OK. So this is the position vector of P. And we'll say then that this then is, well, it is a column vector. So it's going to be minus P. There's no j component, so I'll put 0 there, and the k component is 2p. And we know that p to a is perpendicular to the line L. OK, so it might seem quite a lot of work just to come up with that drawing, but I do think it helps to make things clearer. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work out the vector a to p. Or you could work out p to a. It makes no difference. And then I know that that vector is going to be perpendicular to the green vector here, the direction vector. So I would know that the dot product or scalar product of this vector, 2, 2, minus 1, with a p is going to equal 0. And that will give me an equation which I can solve then for p. So that's the method that I'm going to use. So let's start then by finding the vector a to p. Remember, you could find the vector p to a. It doesn't matter. So if I'm going from a to p, this is the same as the vector o to p minus o to a. And this is a basic result then that we should be familiar with. It's just the O to the last letter minus O to the first letter. And you can see it from here. If you're going to go from A to P, 
it's from A to O, which is minus O to A, followed by O to P, okay? Now, if we work these out as column vectors, O to P then, we've got down here as minus P, 0, 2P. And then from this, we subtract O to A. And A has coordinates 3, minus 2, 6. So O to A, its position vector, would be 3, minus 2, 6. Okay, written as a column vector like that. And if we subtract these two vectors from one another, we get minus P minus 3. And then 0 minus minus 2 is 2. And then we get 2P minus 6. Now, this vector, AP, must be perpendicular to the vector here, 2, 2, minus 1. So that means that the dot product between AP and 2, 2, minus 1 must equal 0. So we'll just put that down on this column here. We'll just say now AP dotted with the vector 2, 2, minus 1 must equal 0. And let's just copy that vector in for AP again. So we've got then minus P, minus 3, 2, and 2P, minus 6. And if we dot that then with the vector 2, 2, minus 1, we should get 0. Now to dot two vectors together, I'm assuming that you're familiar with that. You can always check it out on my website, the scalar product. We just do minus P minus 3 times 2, and we add it to 2 times 2, and add it to minus 1 times 2P minus 6. So therefore, we've got 2 times minus P minus 3, plus 2 times 2, plus negative 1, I'll just write that as negative 1, times 2p minus 6, 2p minus 6, and that should equal 0. And if we expand these brackets, we get minus 2p, minus 6, plus 4, minus 2p, plus 6, equals 0. And from this, we can just clean up and work out what p is. So, Minus 2p minus another 2p gives us minus 4p. And then minus 6, plus 6 here is 0, plus 4 just gives us plus 4 then, and that equals 0. And if I take away, say, 4 from both sides, minus 4p equals minus 4. And if I divide both sides by minus 4, p would equal 1. Okay?